Greetings and welcome to the Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team video. Today I'm in America uh, covering the tournament I had at Warhammer World just the weekend gone past where we played at the quadruples for teams. But before you get into things, please remember to like and subscribe as well as comment. Let me know what you thought of today's video. And we've got, I've got a Discord you can check out for free in the episode description below. An affiliate link at Element Games, an affiliate link and discount code at Crossfire Games, and a Patreon if you want to give me some more support. But yeah, uh, going over the tournament we had at Warhammer World. This was the new edition, so it was the first new edition tournament for Warhammer World for Kill Team, and it was quadruple teams. So it was players, teams of four, four players, versus each other over five rounds. So it was three rounds on the Saturday and two rounds on the Sunday. So um, I made a team. We booked this like ages ago, so it was actually before third edition was announced. So originally it was going to be a second edition tournament, then we played it as third edition. So team members were myself, running Legionary, then it was Charles running Angels of Death, then it was my friend Scrivro as well running uh, Commandos, and then our other friend Adam running Scout Squad. We did think about going like a full elite team, but that wouldn't have been too much fun, so instead we kind of picked whatever people were most interested in and familiar with, considering most of them weren't able to get any practice games in. I think Charles had one game and then Adam and Scrivo had about like two or three and they just wanted to pick team, well I recommended them pick teams what they thought would be most fun. So uh, I was the team captain. We had our team name as Canny Roller Crit, obviously. There were actually a multitude of names that uh, were rejected uh, so it was a uh, free man one crit, free man and a crit, Touch my crit. Can you find the crit? Don't put my crit there. Uh, there were a multitude of names, was what I was trying to say. So we just went with Kenny Roller Crit, right? There was there was so many, and so many I'm not allowed to mention, but it's fine. So uh, I'll get on with the torn report. Obviously, we drove up on the day because I, I'm not allowed to sleep. So I mean, I did get sleep otherwise. Never, never drive without sleeping. Um, but around one, we were paired into Knott's Kill Team. So I was there's there were four boards on every table, every row. So there were two Vocus, one Gallo Dark, and one Beta Decima. So for this round, I'd put Charles on Beta Decima, uh, Adam with his scout squad on Gallo Dark, and then me and Scrivo won Vocus. So uh, Scrivo played against Legionary, Charles played against Warp Coven, and Adam played against, uh, I can't remember what exactly. Uh, no, I was on, uh, what do you call it, Vulcus. Sorry, I was on uh, Gallo Dark. Adam was on Vulcus against Inquisitor Agents, and I was on Gallo Dark against Jace Han, Kin Han Kin Yeagers. So we were playing loot, which was really annoying, and obviously, uh, if you weren't aware, Razor Wire, if you put, you can put it within access points. So we put it, both put Razor Wire on. Uh, so currently you need four inches to climb it, because it's two inches to climb and then you have to pay another two inches for being Razor Wire. So unless you movement seven, which is what my Legionary could do, uh, no one could clear <laughs> those Razor Wires. So obviously we just played for the mid. And uh, my main plan was I repositioned and dashed my anointed up onto the point with the two up armor save, dropped the smoke as a counteract. I had my icon on my objective with the Shrive Talon moving up to the door on the right side of that room with my sorcerer covering the bottom door and then my plasma and well my melter and chosen leader all covering like the top left of that door and you can see what marks they have. And effectively uh, I will let him win initiative well, he took initiative, I believe, which gave me three more command points. And then uh, what happened was, no, no, I won initiative, sorry, I took it. Uh, obviously I was demon mode, so then I charged with my legionary to kill his uh, iron break, the guy with the, the Sam Fisher guy and his melee guy. And then eventually, well, he then popped a loot to steal the second point. So he got two that turn, but then I managed to kill way too many Jaegers turning point two because I just pushed up and then I managed to control the mid because I managed to turning point two put a grizzly mark on it with my shrive talon so just controlling the center I took contain so I got two victory points for contain that time and then turning point three he won initiative but he couldn't really do anything with it so he did try and uh, shoot one of my operatives which didn't do much and then obviously oh no I won initiative again sorry I won initiative turning point three stole his uh, shot, uh, moved into his left-hand room, killed a Jaeger with a melter gun and stole the point. 
Then I stole the mid, so he just scored nothing that turn. Then turning point four, he won initiative, but by then I'd already like effectively maxed everything. And because he was running implant, <coughs> he was keeping everyone alive, mostly. So I'd only lost the anointed and uh, I think just the anointed, yeah. So I was able to push up quite freely. And by then, like, I think he only had two Jaegers left, so wisely just ran away. Um, he did get some good shots off with the blast rocket, but because I was able to just control the room too quickly, and obviously because he could only push down the mid, there was not much like Jason could do. But um, it was a really fun game. Uh, I was the only one to win that round. Like, we had a good game. Uh, we both expected the razor wire trick. Uh, but unfortunately, I think Charles lost against Walt Coven on Beta Decima, and then Scrivo and, Jason, uh, Scrivo and Adam both lost their games on Vokas. So we got uh, one win, three losses, which was three tournament points, but quite a lot of victory points. So it wasn't too bad of a loss. Then after lunch, we had round two. So round two, this time I was into Mandrakes on Vokas. Scrivo was on Vokas. And then we'd put Charles into uh, Beta Decima. No, Galadark, sorry, with Adam on Beta Decima. Uh, this round went a lot better for us. I was playing into Mandrakes, and this time I think it was uh, Reverse Secure. Um, it's the, I think it was Transmission, where you have to spend an action point to secure it every turn, effectively. Uh, so this time I was running mostly Sanesh with a Slash Chosen, Slash Icon, Slash Shrive Talon, Slash Warrior, and then Zinch Warrior. Well, Zinch, uh, what do you call it? Sorcerer, and then Nurgle Anointed. So uh, this time I moved up, uh, got quite offensive. To be fair, he almost killed the Anointed Turning Point 2 uh, with one combat and then killed it again. Um, well, killed it with the second one, but because I controlled the mid, because turning point one, I used a reposition, then put a grizzly trophy on the center point. So effectively with Mandrix, that only two APL, they can realistically never capture that point. And after that, I just slowly managed to keep killing all the Mandrakes. And yeah, pushed up quite the far. The issue with, with Sanesh, they were minus one to hit in close combat. And because every Sanesh Octave he had shot had already moved with Quicksilver speed, they were minus one to hit in shooting as well. So it was only really getting two to one hits per shooting attack. And like on average two hits in close combat. Pretty quickly, uh, he tried moving up his leader on the right hand flank. Um, but I kind of just ignored it, really. Uh, I think I did eventually kill his leader by my sorcerer just repositioning into his face, two inch, well, just 2.1 inches away, and then uh, blasting him with all the psychic powers in the world, which did just kill his leader. Um, but it was a really fun game. It was just kind of like very uphill for Mandrakes, even with all the interruptions and other tricks they had. And then that round, I think, uh, Charles won. Uh, Adam drew against Legionary on Beta Decima and Scrivo won as well, so we got a nice win there. Then for round three, uh, we were on the same row. It was either this row, table one, and we we're like, we'll just stay here. Um, and um, I was into Mandrakes again. Scrivo was on Vocus, Charles was on Beta Decima, and Adam was on Gallo Dark. Uh, and this time it, it was a different mission. I can't remember what, I think it was Upload, sorry. No, it wasn't Upload. It was another mission, which I, I can't remember at the moment because we have so many. I took the same team as before and effectively did the same game plan and it worked just as well. Because once again, turning point one, after that scouting reposition, put the Grizzly Mark on the center, stuck the Shrive Talon there, Quicksilver speed, just couldn't, couldn't die. He did throw a few Mandrakes in, moving and shooting, bringing it down to four wounds, but then the Balefire healed it up to nine. And then he couldn't really kill it after that. So the Shrive Talon just secured the mid. Um, my Icon then secured the left-hand side. And then he, the biggest misplay he did was kind of leaving three Mandrakes next to the door in his stronghold. So they were within two. So turning point to my anointed reposition to his door, Hatchway for well, door four killed his Dirgemore, then killed um, his Choose of the Flesh, and he'd lost his two big hitters. He just had a normal Mandrake, who then did kill my Anointed, obviously, but now I'd k killed all his sources of APL modification and all of that, and then effectively just pushed through. This was the one, sorry, extraction. So turning point three, when he only had like one operative left, he popped his point, I popped the middle, then popped my closest one and ran away with it. So that turn, I scored uh, four on the primary, and then last turning point, I scored four. I took uh, contain, not contain, um, secure center, which I took last game. I maxed because uh, you can secure center, what, like just 
touching the building, where, which I did with my leader. So my leader helped me max a uh, secure center like he did last turn. So leader on center line, and then I had one to two operatives in the middle. So basically playing the same game again, really fun. And I think we all won every game that round, which was really nice and a nice way to close off day one. Day two, after having some rest, and some cake, very heavy Nottingham cake. Uh, we were into the French team, so they were the undefeated team. So once again, unintentionally, I was into Mandrakes for third time in a row. Um, we had Scrivo on Volcus, Charles on Beta Des uh, on Gallo Dark, sorry, and Adam on Beta Decima. And um, yeah, this was a difficult map. This one we were playing. Um, I think it, this was definitely reverse secure. So where you have to secure it. No, it was secure, sorry, we were just playing secure. Um, and what I did, I repositioned up, because this time I took the same loadout as last time. Um, I repositioned up my uh, Strive Town with the scouting option, turning point one with Quicksilver speed. He, moved, he repositioned onto the objective, dropped a grizzly marker, and effectively it was a really close stalemate. Then, uh, but he forgot, he teleported someone within two inches of the door. So my uh, warrior repositioned and dashed Hatchway Fort and killed him. So he's already down one operative, turning point one. He then popped smoke and then turning point two, I won initiative and took it. And then I repositioned and uh, shot his leader in the open who was in smoke, hit him five times, which going down to four. He made four saves well, three saves, and then he failed his X again, uh, which means his leader just died. So he lost his leader turning point two. He did manage to get like some nice chips off, um, but then near the end of turning point two, I repositioned and dashed my leader through the door, overcharged and killed his, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, no, overcharged uh, his uh, Choose of the Flesh, leaving him on three wounds. Then uh, his bale fire shot me, only did like three damage, uh, then tried charged me and fought, but forgot I had the corn ploy up. So he hit me for five, and then I hit him for eight with an immediate crit, killed him and healed myself back up. Um, because I had stronghold, uh, his free APL verse two I secured. Well, my free APL verse two, so I, I strong, secured that stronghold, and I was managed to control my the middle objective and my own. And then turning point three, he won initiative but made a mistake because his chooser had killed my anointed on one wound. He forgot to give his chooser free APL to shoot, charge, then fight. So he charged my leader. Uh, I killed him and he did seven damage to me, leaving me on four. Then I killed him and healed back up to eight. Um, and then from there, I just kind of mopped up. That kind of misplay didn't do too well because it just means I completely controlled that, flipped his objective to neutral, um, and then I pretty much left him alive with like one Mandrake because I couldn't chase it down. I did only have my Icon, Shrive Talon, and uh, Sorcerer left, but that did get me six on the primary, uh, six on the tack up again, oh, well, six on the crit up, six on the tack up, and then like five on the kill up. So I managed to get, a, I think it was a 19 point win there, which was really, really good. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of my team got smashed, which I kind of expected, but they, they, they played to the best of their ability. It was kind of tough for them. The French team were really well prepared, but it was still a fun game. Then we had the painting competition. So like, here's all the painting stuff, like really good selection of teams. There were so many, you can see all the, <laughs> All the legionary I brought, because I've basically, um, this is my old legionary plus seven new miniatures. So I'm thinking I've got like 30 legionary now, because uh, I, I need to show off everything. And then like the standard hobby was really, really good. So great there. Then in the final round, uh, I was against Kazakin. This was on upload. Charles was on to uh, Galodark in the mirror. Uh, Adam was playing Vespid on Beta Decima and Scrivo was on Volcus as well. I'm not sure, oh, well, he was playing Corsairs. Uh, so in this matchup, um, kind of worried about Kazakin, but because I just went basically all Nurgle, it wasn't too much of a worry. This time I went Chosen Leader, Anointed, Shrive Talon, uh, Balefire, Plasma Gunner, and then Icon with Chainsword. So turning point one after a reposition, I then repositioned onto the point, well, uh, I actually moved up quite cautiously and then first activation for him, he repositioned and dashed his mine layer onto my objective. Well, near it, behind it, right on the right hand side. So then what I did with my repositioned up scouting optioned Shrive Talon, I switched to engage, 
repositioned around that point because by that time everyone who could shot her had activated and then placed my grizzly mark and then counteracted and charged to stay in combat with there and then like just slowly moved up. I put ladders in the mid so I could just climb off, climb over into that room in the center point stronghold quite easily. Uh, then I uh, won initiative. My chosen charged killed his... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, killed one of his uh, his comms, no, not comms, um, recon trooper immediately, and then overcharged into his melter, and unfortunately left him on one wound, oh, three wounds. Uh, he did survive the melter shot back because obviously he was two in as pissing one and made two saves, so he only took ten damage, so he's left on five. And uh, then I activated my Shrive Talon, switched to Conceal, killed his Melter Mind, who dropped his Melter Mind, then repositioned back and secured that point, or uploaded that. And um, turning point one, I'd already killed one of his troopers. So then he invested quite a lot chipping down my two up save uh, leader, because that was his conf uh, champion target for his sniper. So when he was on one wound, sniper immediately killed him, so he got two on champion. By then, he'd lost the mid because his melter had moved on, like repositioned and dashed onto the midpoint. So then my anointed charge killed him and then also fought and killed uh, his leader. No, his, uh, one of his uh, support warriors who were nearby. And then obviously my icon just moved into the room and captured it. And then turning point two, I managed to kill his, well turning point three, I killed his plasma uh, and then like killed his leader. Uh, so he was only left on like two operatives. His sniper was just hiding for dear life. Uh, and then unfortunately because of that I, I think I actually managed, no his sniper switched to engage to try and get like a mobile shot so my sniper, uh, well my medic, not my medic, my bellfire killed his sniper and then the, um, what do you call it, the gunner just repositioned and dashed and blew away the comms so by the end of then I had once again secured stronghold um, for six victory points, I had maxed upload, he got two, I got six on the upload and then I had wiped him out so I actually got a max game there but it was really really fun so they were a bunch of new players who, this was their first tournament, so they, uh, Screwroll beat their Corsair player, Adam just beat the v uh, Vesper player on Beta Decima. It turned into like a pure slugfest. So they only got like three points in the primary, but Adam wiped him out, but only had like f f two scouts left at the end of the game. And then Charles, uh, in the mirror, him and his opponent agreed not to do razor wire. Um, so, and then like Charles just got rushed down. So he unfortunately lost that one. Um, but we still got a three wins and one loss. That was really fun. And then overall, uh, for the tournament overview, so we placed just fourth. I think we were one point behind uh, Knott's Kill Team who came third and second. So if we had like uh, won another one of our games, we would have come third. But um, the team were a little bit... Uh, gutted about that, but I was like, fine. I mean, I had a lot of fun. I'd mainly come to the tournament for practice and just relaxing, because uh, I need more practice, the third edition. And I was really impressed with how everyone did. And you know, even though they were a bit gutted, they just missed out on third place because everyone got trophies. They still did really well. Um, Games Workshop also gave us, whoever was like the highest scoring player on your team, also got a special prize. So I'm, they, they gave us a free kill team to pick. So I picked Kazakin, so I now have a full set of Kazakin to eventually build up, which was really, really nice. And like there were just a lot of prizes again, most sporting, best painted. Uh, so I think France came first, and then the two Knox kill teams came second and third, and then we just came fourth. And then obviously there were the six other teams as well, so we had 40 players. It was really well turned out. Um, I know people are going to ask about rules questions and like how Games Workshop rules stuff, but you have to remember the events team are literally just ruling for their own events. They're not the rules team. They were just basically ruling rules as written. So whatever people, unless people could like justify it otherwise, they went with like the rulings as it's written. Um, nothing too contentious really happened. It was a really nice and fun event, really well run. The only thing is, I think this meta is horrible, as in like the game balance sucks. After like, I mean I knew it wasn't going to be great, but the moment it's kind of trash. Like not even just the elite stuff, Inquisition are too strong, um, but it's like the razor wire blocking off like Galodark, like being able to place razor wire and barricades within access points and doors just makes those maps really boring and even on open so you can kind of just stop people engaging on your objectives if we had six objectives it wouldn't be so bad but because we only have three it's just like you f it forces a match into the middle which a lot of teams can't compete 
Um, warp Coven are very overpowered, especially on Beta Decima because of their teleportation and fly, which probably needs to be addressed. I think everyone, like I was already a strong proponent of this, but I think after that weekend, everyone at the event agrees. This top form, uh, the top vantage point in Volkers for match play shouldn't be on because you can only fit one model up there. And if you don't have seek or anything, you just can't, it's untouchable. And the opponents are put, putting people up there who usually like permanently silent snipers or operatives who can just max score, um, like gather surveillance and other important tack ops. But the problem is you have no way to deal with that in general because they've removed seek from grenades. So like, cause the, the issue is Warhammer World used to have a multi-layered Chalnath and then they agreed to move the top layer of, and like you couldn't place on the top layer level because no one could reach that second level of vantage point. And like, if that second vantage point on Volcus was bigger, so it could easily fit two models, I think it would be fine, but you could only fit one. Just remove it, like block it off. And I think that would help Volcus so much, like that change is needed. And then it's like, obviously Legionary are broken. Angels of Death were like pretty cracked as well. Warp Coven, Inquisition, like there's so many other teams as well. Like it doesn't help with the team matchup because you can tailor your matchup. Like every Warp Coven player just played on Beta Decima. So where Beta Decima, where there's like no cover, obviously Warp Coven are just gonna like destroy everyone with their teleportation and flying. So what can you expect there? But even then, you know, Legionary abusing stuff, like Inquisition were really hard to beat, but there were, there were a lot of people actually refusing to run Inquisition and Elites. So I'm hoping this meta changes soon. The only issue is that for the world championships, it's gonna suck, right? So I know it's gonna suck, but it's, it's fine. Like, you know, I am enjoying Legionary, but I like openly admit they are way too strong. They're too flexible for what they can do. And it's like, uh, we did think about running a full elite team, but it's just not fun. And as I said, there were teams there who refused to run elites in general. And there's still other teams, like we could have run like Novitiates who are like way too strong at the moment, along with like even Felgor. Felgor's only problem are elites. Like the problem is, I think balance is pretty crap. Like it's just, uh, I need to do a video on it in itself, but I'm quite disappointed with where the game is at competitively. And personally, I think it's unacceptable that Games Workshop released the game in this state, considering it's gonna be at this state for the World Championships of Warhammer, which is gonna be a mess. And especially if they do what they did last year, which was only go off the World Championships, the balance stuff, we could be in for like even more mess. Um, but that's just me being pessimistic. Ignoring that, like ignoring the rules issues and the balance issues, the event was super fun. Everyone was really chill. Everyone had a lot of fun, like shouts to the not kill team people. They were super fun. Uh, we almost fell into their trap game one where Jason was like, if you, if, we, if, we, if you place all your players randomly, we'll place all our players randomly. It almost worked, almost worked. Uh, Cause Charles really wanted to play Jason again. But I was like, nah, it's fine. Uh, but they were really fun. It was great seeing all of them. Met a lot of fans, which was really nice from like America and in the UK, which was really good. But it was great. There was a lot of people and as I said, outside of balance, everyone was having really a lot of fun. The events team were great. Food was nice. And it's like, if you've never been to Warhammer World, always recommend it. And it was a great way to start off the edition. Like really just lots of fun. Like just great. We kind of all just accepted the nonsense. And the good thing, there were players like, as I said, in Charles in his last game, him and his opponent agreed not to do stuff like put razor wire with an access point so they could just have a, a fun game, which, you know, shouldn't be down to the players to police, but it's good people are doing that. And it's why I like kill teams so much. And yeah, it was just nice playing with my friends and a good way to start the edition. But that's pretty much it from me today. Please remember to like and subscribe as well as comment. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Did you find it useful? All that kind of jazz. What do you think of the game competitively at the moment? And remember, I've got a Discord you can check out from the episode description below. And a filling code at Games. And a filling link and discount code at Crossfire Games. And a Patreon if you want to give me some more support. So thank you to all my patrons. I can't shout you out right now because... I'm in America. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm in America right now. I've got another video on Saturday. I wonder what that could be. What kind of special lovely that, that hasn't already leaked, which isn't very frustrating at all, not so ever, whatsoever. Anyway, I'm having fun. I'm tired. I'm jet lagged. I've got the New York Open this weekend, so I'll be playing the New York Open. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. to post my videos, which is completely fine. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, and like, I'm expecting the New York Open to roll balance-wise quite similarly to Warhammer World, but we'll have fun because the Americans are great. And then, yeah, you know, I've got another tournament next week as well. I'm doing three tournaments in a row. And then I've got the World Championships of Warhammer, like two weeks after that. 
Can I do four tournaments in a row? Please no, because I need to sleep. Also, thank you for everyone who voted for the sleeping poll. That was greatly appreciated. But remember, no matter what happens next time in Warhammer, even when you're playing a team event, there's always a chance to win as long as you can all roll a crit.